guess what? Uh, we're thinking here at MetaCrafters that Meta is about to release a desktop version of Horizon Worlds. Do -do -do -do. Bring the drums, everybody, because this is big news. I mean, if you're a builder, this is exciting, right? Because it's kind of, you know, if you're a builder and you have background designing or working with computers, so me that I had both, I'm a painter, but I'm also a computer kind of person a little bit, is, or a lot, it's difficult sometimes to work with your helmet. But, you know, when you spend many hours, maybe maybe building for seven hours is too much in that role. But anyhow, this is, this is what we're thinking, that Meta is about to release a desktop top version desktop version of horizon worlds and it's fun but also we have many questions in case you don't know what i'm talking about go to our blog metacrafters.store in and just click on the blog and you're gonna see a picture of why we're thinking this everybody the game is a food we have a picture evidence number one you know a picture of a screenshot that was taken from uh horizon worlds and it says it's an option that says uh, desktop friendly. Yep, that's happening. And that is when you are in the builder mode. And that's an addition that is there, the desktop friendly tag. And it's in the world settings in case you're wondering. But you can go to our, our website and see it for yourself if you want to then look for it in your own, on your own. But anyway, so... So this seems to suggest that Meta is about to release the big kick that we're going into desktop. And it's fun, but also there are many questions to be answered and no answers. So world sues and the game is a food. Like, what am I talking about? Well, there are questions and concerns, I guess. Will this be a PC or Mac or both? Um, you know, who will this favor, the creator or the builder or both? You know, from, from a functional point of view. Now, this is the nitty gritty. If you're in the creator's mode, you know, are we going to be able to create things in other things like Blender and import them or does a no, 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 no business? And also, I guess this is a real nitty gritty. Like, are we going to watch this? Because also on top of the, of the, the, the tag I was telling you about, the desktop friendly, there is a mobile friendly tag. Yes, everybody, that's happening. And I don't know if you realize that Meta had said before that they wanted to do a mobile version of Horizon Worlds to be released. That's a point, but I guess that's happening because it's already there. Again, we had a picture, evidence number two in our blog. So go there and the crafters that store under the blog and you will see it there. So you all are witnesses of this this is happening right now and well this is very fun and i like it because we'll make it more accessible to people but it's also mm, i am i wonder for us creators if we're gonna have to make a version that is friendly for the phones like i mean is that going to be 2d not 3d that's what we're working on right now because I don't know the implications, how the, the 3D we're making will translate, you know, the virtual reality will translate into a flat 2D screen. Are they going to give them goggles? Are they going to to just make it 2D? And if they have it 2D, are we going to have to make two worlds? You know, like one 2D, a 3D, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Opinions, welcome, questions, concerns, bring it on here. So... Oh, sorry for that. That was loud. So that is what's happening. And it's a lot of questions. And how the player is going to experience this? That's another concern. Is it going to be a um, first person playing kind of like Minecraft? Or it will be a third person mode, which seems to be very popular, you know, with Roblox and stuff like that. How will this translate, you know, interacting with the world in a virtual environment to a flat 2D screen? I don't know. But opinions are welcome, like I said. So that's that's the news. That's what we're thinking. But you know, just to be real, uh, what we're thinking will happen is that builders will most likely have to create several versions of the same world. You know, one to serve the mobile version, one for Oculus, and who knows if another one for the desktop. If that happens to be also a a version so that's the name of the game you know it is what will be i guess we'll learn 
So it's kind of interesting to see uh, all the things that you guys are making. So if you have a world, a comment, let me know who you are. I might visit you and talk about you in this podcast or in our blog when we see something interesting or creative. So let us know who you are. Leave us a comment. And it's always fun chatting with minds alike and with different minds too. So we'll see you guys later and let me your let me know your thoughts, your ideas. So see you later, crafters, builders, explorers, and more. Laters.